Hello and welcome back to Elite Cloud. In this video, we're going to learn how to install WordPress in AWS LightSail. First, navigate to your AWS console, and then search for LightSail in the search bar. Click on LightSail. Then click on Get Started. It will give you a guided tour. You can ignore the guided installation if you prefer. There's some pricing information, I'll be closing this. Let's skip the guided tour. In AWS LightSail, you can have instances, containers, databases, networking, storage, domains, DNS, and more. You can control everything from here. It's a completely different dashboard than your standard AWS console. To create a WordPress site, we first need to create an instance. Click on Create Instance, and you can change the region. I'll put this in US East 1. With the region selected, you can also select the availability zone from here. I will keep it as the default one. Here you can select the operating system you want to use. You have Windows and Linux options. I'll go with Linux. From there, you can choose the operating system or predefined template, Blueprint, which will install the application shown here. You can select WordPress, WordPress multi-site, or any of these options. I'll just go with WordPress since that's all I need. You can change the SSH key and add a launch script. Once the instance starts, it will run this script. It's similar to the EC2 launch script, but I'll keep everything as is. I also don't want to enable automatic snapshots because this is just going to be a demonstration. As you can see, we get LightSail free for 3 months. I'll just keep it to this, because I don't need any higher instance. You can name your instance WordPress 1 or just keep it as WordPress. Add some additional tags if needed. Once everything is done, click on Create Instance. It's now starting this instance with everything I have selected. This will take some time to deploy the instance and install WordPress and all the necessary components. Let's wait for it to finish. After some time, you'll see the instance is now running. You can click on this instance to get more of an inside view. You can access the WordPress admin panel from here. Let's click on this, and you will see it's redirecting us to WordPress. Here we don't know the username and password. We can actually get them by connecting to the instance. Let me connect using my browser because this is going to be the easiest way to connect. Now type ls, and you will see that it's showing Bitnami credentials and application passwords. I'm going to read them. This is the username for the WordPress user and the password, which I'm going to copy. Let's log in using the username and password. Close this and log in to WordPress. You can see we have successfully logged into WordPress. 
You can see the front page of blog, and we have successfully installed a WordPress website in AWS LightSail. Now you can configure SSL, develop your site, change the content, and do all these things. If you are no longer using this LightSail instance, it's preferable to stop it or delete it permanently if you choose to do so. You will see all the other options for your instance, like metrics. It will show you the CPU runtime and sustainable zone. You can also create a new disk and attach it, so it's very flexible. You can also add firewall rules just like you would do in an EC2 instance. It's almost the same. You can also do it for IPv6, not just IPv4. You can add custom domains and check the history. That's all for this video. Thank you for being with Elite Cloud.